Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. It's finally here guys. The gameplay footage of the KCD2. I was really looking forward for this video. The trailer dropped maybe four days ago? Five. Something like that. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have the time to record this video, but I'm finally here. Okay, let's go. Peggy 18. Actual gameplay footage subject to final polish. Okay. The Holy Roman Empire. 1403. That was Luke Schler, right? That was Luke Dale. Sir Hans's VA. Mordowałem i ruchałem. Więcej razy paliłem kościoły niż byłem u spowiedzi. Wybacz swemu słudze. Wybacz. Wybacz i pozwól mi jeszcze tylko raz wykastrować tych bezważnych skurwy synów! Jeez. Welcome to the first look at the gameplay of Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. A unique action RPG with a vast realistic open world and a grand cinematic story. Nice day. You As the UI... young lad Henry, you will embark. Wait a second, look. Uh, the UI is kind of like the first game. You have the stamina, nice, right? The horse, the HP, right? And the compass, right? This game looks beautiful. Mark on an unforgettable journey through the beautiful but brutal world of the late Middle Ages. Our task for this quest is to find two men at arms, nice Ranyek map. and Ada, and recruit them into a rebellious task force of which Henry is part. With a bunch of talented criminals and violent drunks, you're about to unleash a guerrilla warfare against Sigismund, the usurper of the Bohemian throne. The first map. Okay, okay. Okay, is it gonna be like uh, the DLC for the first game? What was it? Um, Band of Bastards. That you're part of a mercenary group? Or is it kind of like Assassin's Creed where you build a brotherhood? Or like. I think it's in Brotherhood that you build the Brotherhood, and it was in Revelations that you uh, go on quests with the different members of the uh, Brotherhood. I don't know. I love the idea, but I don't know how they implanted the whole thing in the game. I don't know which way they went. Doesn't matter, either of them is fun. And on the list, Ranyek was last seen in the nearby village of Bilani, playing dice in the tavern. Let's go ask the local gamblers about him. Nice, nice. It's very early. The villagers are just waking up to their everyday chores, milking cows, harvesting crops, or gambling groschen. God, I miss pebbles. Greetings. What brings you here so early in the morning? The innkeeper said you were playing dice with Ranyek. You know Ranyek? Then you must have a drink with us. Not a good idea. Thanks, but I'd rather know what happened to Ranyek. <laughs> Impatient, aren't you? We can take you to him right now, if you want. Lead the way, then. No, come on. Henry. Nice come fellas. On. They offered us a drink, and now they'll introduce Ranyek to us. No questions asked. A rookie mistake. Never follow anyone to the backyard. Never. It's always the trap. Looking forward to meeting him. Seems like a feel-good quest. Hey, do you want to see him or not? Uh, so where is he? No. What? No. 
No. Where is he? I don't get no. it. What happened to him? We met this Runyek in Pshitoki. We even lent him money when he had nothing to play with. He swore he'd pay us back. Then we met here and played some more. Runyek kept losing, but he didn't know when to stop. What did he do to him? When it was clear he had no way to pay us He's back, buried in we started shit. <laughs> watching him to make sure he couldn't run away. He started whining oh, about no. having to go take a dump. But we didn't want to watch him shit himself, so we let him go and said we'd wait outside the shit house. But the bastard got the idea to flee the other way. You mean through? But I reckon it was deeper than he thought. Lovely. And he never came out. No. I'm gonna pull mm. Ranyak out. Well, if you say so. But I wouldn't go in there for a golden pig. And when I find him? Just pull him out and search him. That bow of his should fetch a decent price. Jump in then. Why God, why? Henry is always getting covered in shit. It happened in the first game twice. First when in Escalates they decided to redecorate Deutsche's house. And the second time it was when Henry was uh, fleeing from Veranic. Yeah, that's the one. The life of a true medieval adventurer oh, isn't always about winning epic battles, oh, saving smidge. damsels in distress, <laughs> and forging your own destiny. Sometimes <laughs> it's about fumbling for corpses uh, in a pile of shit uh, over there. behind the Balani Tavern at 7 a.m. Ah, <laughs> oh, good. That must be him. Here we go. Oh, finally. Poor Henry. Ugh, this is disgusting. <laughs> I don't think they deserve the bow after all. Don't be afraid. Be around. Hey, where are you going? He looks clean. Or a corpse that was buried on the now, pile of shit. Not another step! God, what a stitch! Jesus. So, did you find the bow? Well, I have it, but I won't give it to you. With what I had to go through to By find the way, it, nice it's armor. more of a consolation prize. I like did it. you go mad from wading through shit? <laughs> give it to me. Come and get it. Fellas, hold your noses and beat him up. KCD2 aims to bring a unique blend of realism and fun into every part of the game. Nice, Combat nice. Included. Our fighting system is built on true medieval martial arts and wrestling techniques. Fluid, thrilling, and tactical. I was gonna say the As same in real thing. Combat. Uh, sorry. Uh, the animations are really, really improved. Compared to the first game, they are really fluid. I like it. Movement is the key. As is equipping a good set of armor. Otherwise, you might find yourself in a pickle. Nice. Jesus. Yeah. I love the finisher. Before someone notices the new corpses and starts investigating. Run. Ooh. What the? Did I step in shit? <laughs> oh, it's just you. I, um, didn't have the time to wash up. But I'll do that right away. As proven by this lovely lady, the world reacts to your behaviour, looks, and even smell. Murder. I found a body. Time to vanish. In order to properly wash away our morning adventure, let's visit the best bathhouse around, which is located nowhere else than in the Gutenberg. great city of Kuttenberg. Yep. 
the crown jewel of the Holy yeah. Roman Empire, the central bank of the kings, a place where people of all sorts come to pursue the bohemian dream and seek their fortune. A city filled with people to befriend or betray and all sorts of adventures and quests for you to uncover. God, I'm gonna loot this city. I'm telling you, I'm gonna loot the whole city. for you, you stinker. <laughs> Poor Henry. Well, I need my wounds treated and my clothes washed. And then hmm. I'll have a hot bath. Great, but it'll cost you. 75. I'll gladly pay you. You certainly won't regret it. My baths are first class. Jesus, that's really expensive. The inflation now that we're all scrubbed up, let's take a stroll around the city. Let's the world go. in KCD2 doesn't wait for you to come and trigger the lives of its citizens. All inhabitants have their own day routines. Merchants, Great. wenches, soldiers or executioners. Jeez. They all wake up, go about their work day, and once that's finished, they go home to their families or to the tavern to their beers. Are you whistling at me? I'm not interested. KCD2 <laughs> aims to bring you a uniquely reactive and believable world. Whatever you do as Henry, it will have consequences, and you will feel them. Have you haggled too long with the greengrocer about the price of his cabbage? Well, now he's pissed off, Not the and you can forget about any sale. It's Thrown your favourite like hat in front of game. a beggar yeah, yeah. by the church. Come back a minute later, and you'll see him wearing it proudly. Or killed the local innkeeper's husband. She'll be crying in front of her house the next time you go there, making you feel really miserable. God Across damn. this demo, we'll play as a good-hearted lad. Apart from the ending, though. Spoiler alert. But the game allows you to push Henry towards any behaviour, even the most vile. Here's a quick example of what you'll be able to do ideas. to stir some mayhem in the city. Don't give me any ideas, Luke. Ah. Jeez. <laughs> hey, did you forget your clothes somewhere? Yeah. Oh, sh Henry's naked. At your mother's place when yeah. I was shagging her. <laughs> Jesus, Henry. Ha! <laughs> that was just a little appetizer, and now I'm hungry again. You're always so I reckon hungry. It's time for another course. What do you say? And now, back to our good lad Henry. Huh? Please, good man. I need some help. A prime example of a random encounter. Sure. What is it you need? I lost something, and I can't find it for the life of me. My leather satchel. I put it down here for a moment, and now it's gone. Hmm. Where did he put it? Somewhere around here. Don't trust him. Henry. I made sure it wouldn't be in plain sight. At least I think I did. Oh, a moment's destruction is all it takes. Someone must have filched it from you. If I don't find it, I'm done for. Now hold on. Wait. What are you doing? Give it back right now. Cheeky bugger. <laughs> Fifty groschen. That's worth at least a hug down the bathhouse. Oh, enough! She, she's... Oh, he surrendered. Had enough? I... Now hand it back. Everything you stole from me. Uh, yeah. That's all of it. Can I... Can I go now? Piss off. Damn. You're acting like a child. Go and whistle somewhere else. 
with our groschen back in our pocket. Why the hell I wash the other way? What? Jeez. Come to see a merchant to stock up on food, sell Ranyek's bow, and head to the whereabouts of the second man on our list. Nice cabbages. Okay, this is the general store. Right? I think it is. Belt. Okay, okay, let me check the armor system. Huh. I love this one. <laughs> now you can equip the dagger. It's not like the previous game that you have it in your inventory. You can actually equip it. Okay, neck guard. Okay, okay. Just the same. Okay, how does this work? It's both hood and helmet. Interesting. Okay, armor, armor, chainmail. Okay. Kind of like the previous game. Cool, cool, cool. But wait, wait. I think. Yeah. It kind of looks like a potion. Maybe you can equip your potions for hot keys. I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. It's a shield. Cool. Fresh bacon is good, but then again, it won't last too long in your inventory. Always dry food. Longer journeys. Yeah. Dried food is always better, as it doesn't spoil, and you don't risk getting sick from rotten bacon. Crossbow. Du wirst sicher zufrieden sein. Bis bald. Now that we're geared up with some food for our hungry Henry, German, let's proceed right? with our quest. Who? The world in KCD2 is filled with places to discover. Let's have a look at this old ruin. There might be something valuable. Go for it. Who's this bandit? Right, right, I'm going. Come no. on. Well, what's it gonna be? I told you to get out of here. We should listen to Mr. Mulder. I'm not right. provoke him. Why? But given his menacing tone, Fine. he must be guarding something valuable. That's a promise we can't leave behind. Oh, okay. Like now we are talking. Oh, <laughs> oh it's a, a stealth gameplay. Let's change our outfit to something yep. more quiet yep. and drop the chainmail for a bit so we don't rattle across the whole camp. Okay. Wait, did he just throw a stone or pebble or something? You can distract guards by throwing his stuff and creating sound. Nice. Never. I love it. Holy mother of Assassin's Creed. This is even better. <laughs> I heard something. Do it. You're right. Woody crossbow. Okay. 
Crossbow is way better, but it takes too long. An to reload. Lab. Of course. Bro. Oi, Pinkman. Go for it. God damn. Brother, uh. Uh. Brother, uh. Well, he doesn't have any armor too. As you can notice, shields are very handy when you carry only a short weapon and have a free hand. Mm -hmm. But we cracked it right enough. Let's try to dodge and attack him right after. There you go, Henry. Yes, the, the shield weapons broke? and shields can fall apart during yep. combat if nice. they're damaged enough. So it always pays off to take good care of them. Holy! Mercy. Victory Mercy. at last. Now, what should we do with him? You're not going anywhere until I say so. Let me live! Give me everything you have. Hmm. Nice option. Nice option. Either that or finish him. Give me everything you have, and I'll let you go. All right, easy now. Just let me go, and I'll give you everything. You promised to free me. Now keep your word. If you rewind a few moments back, you can even see he gave Henry his red shoes. But it could have been much worse for him. Yep. Fuck this! I'm not getting myself killed! <laughs> God, I love this there game. There must be something of great value here. Potions. It was an alchemist. Oh, oh yes. Savior Schnapps. Schnapps. Yeah. A classic <laughs> period potion through which you save the game. This was worth the oh, three. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, look. Save your schnapps. Yeah. A classic period potion through which you say. Oh, the strongest strong. Okay. Uh, in this game, we have tiers for potions. Kind of like uh, Skyrim, where we had a healing potion, vigorous healing potion. Enhanced healing potion was it ultimate healing potion. We have different versions of every potion. Is it like that or hmm? Interesting. If the game this was worth the three kills, unlike the bow. <laughs> Now, back to the recruiting campaign. The second man on the list, called Ada, was supposedly misbehaving last night around this village, and the gossip says he was caught with the butcher's wife. Oh dear God. to you I'm looking for someone and the innkeeper said you might be able to help is that so who is it a wandering man at arms he's a foreigner a Why the black eye? they call him Adder. who are you anyway some friend of his something like that I just need to find him then you better hurry up my old man wants to murder him oh boy why does he want to kill him because he's a stubborn fool who won't let me explain and believes gossip over his own wife. Then calm Jesus. down and tell me what happened. <sighs> Nothing happened. I mean, not that the Paul wasn't interested. He was looking at me all night at the inn, but I avoided him. 
I'm sorry, but I couldn't help but notice. Yeah. Is that bruise from the butcher? He doesn't mean it. He just doesn't know what he's doing when he's angry. Go and Here you go. this. A potion oh. for the pain. Right, okay. It should help you quickly. Thank you. We had options like this. And where will I in find your husband, too. Adder, and the rest? Outside the village, in the direction of Kuttenberg. There's a lone tree in the middle of the field. You can see it from a distance. They said that's where they take him, so that no one can see them. I better go and see your husband. The sooner it's over, the better. Hurry up, please. Oh, oh. We should hurry up then. A violent mercenary and a jealous wife beater behind the village can't end up well. Oh, this is a scene from the beginning. Okay. Wysłuchaj mnie. Całe życie mordowałem i ruchałem. Więcej razy paliłem kościoły niż byłem u spowiedzi. Jesus. Wybacz swoje słudze. Wybacz. Wybacz i pozwól mi jeszcze tylko raz wykastrować tych bezważnych skurwy synów! Oh, no one can listen to you, damn gibberish! Twoja baba i tak do końca życia będzie pamiętać o mojej polskiej kiełbasie! I'll suck that gob of yours! Ciebie i twoją matkę piekło pochłonie. Niech was piekło pochłonie! Wait! Stop! I thought it was a cutlass. Leave him alone and <laughs> untie him. Why you? would I do that? Do you know what that bastard did? If you're talking about the rumors in the village, it's all lies. Nothing happened. You don't know what you're talking about. That whore son defiled my wife. My Eva, eh? He should be glad we're only gonna hang him. If I had my way, we'd castrate him as well. God damn. I saw that mark you left on your wife's face. In the face. previous game, too, you get options based on the evidence you find. It's a really cool system. Basically, you get uh, different options based on either skill or uh, the evidence you find or maybe uh, some other factors. Which is cool. I like it. Let's continue. That was no accident, was it? What are you on about? You'll raise your hand to a defenseless woman, but you need a whole gang to take on a man. Think you can insult me, do you? Shut yes. your gob! <laughs> Get him, lads! Boy, am I laughing! <laughs> Well, the whole situation is really both dark and stupid. <laughs> Jeez. I feel quite hungry! <laughs> no, they didn't. <laughs> no, they didn't. <laughs> I love that battle cry. <laughs> oh, kurwa. Oh, kurwa, blisko. <sighs> oh, kurwa, mać. Mało brakowało. Kimkolwiek jesteś, masz krzepę. To jak żeś nastukał tym zagnojonym kuciapom. O, Where is this guy from? Sam bym lepiej tego nie uczynił. Uh, I reckon you want to know who I am, right? I'm Henry. Is it from Moravia or Poland or? Yes, that's me. Where? Henry. I was sent by Dry Devil. He's waiting for you at the Devil's Den. Oh, this kurwa! Czart żyje? To jeszcze go nie powiesili? Huh. Kurwa, patrz, gupim to szczęście sprzyja. As you say, in the Devil's Den. That's where all of us are supposed to meet. Oh, złaciutki! Kocham cię. 
Chodź ze mną! Musimy to opić w czartówce. Okej. Okay. Go ahead. I'll meet you there later. Dobra. To tam się spotkamy. Kurwa. Już się nie mogę doczekać jakiegoś ruchanka. What a day, Henry. You did good. Now, off to find a bed, a bite to eat, and prepare for more tales to come. Good. This concludes our gameplay showcase of Kingdom Come Deliverance Oh, that's 2. it? Get oh. ready for more exciting peeks into this medieval adventure on our journey towards release February 11th, 2025. Great, we have a release date. Okay, sorry. And if you pre-order, you get bonus quest. Great, great. I loved it. Okay, guys, there are some things that I wrote because I didn't want to forget. Uh, now let's talk about them. The first thing is graphics. It's pretty obvious. Uh, graphic wise, the game is kind of a step up compared to the previous game. And I'm gonna be honest, I liked it. I liked it in that sense. UI. UI is a toughie. Like here. The basic UI is kinda like the previous game. To be honest, I kinda prefer the previous game version. I don't know, it just felt more natural for me. It's basically the same information, the same stuff, the compass, the full bars. It's basically the same thing, but I don't know. But that's not the point. Let's continue. Here. Why the bunny? I don't know why. I don't like the bunny. Like, I think there could be a better way. Or like, uh, if someone spotted you or anything else. Uh, could be like a... Which game? Maybe AC Odyssey. Like, you get a... Uh, circle in the middle of the screen that shows the direction of the person either enemy or potential enemy that has spotted you and based on the level of the detection the colors change it's a simple uh, system and mechanic but it works i don't know the bunny one is annoying and since uh, the game is basically a realistic medieval uh, rpg i don't know that bunny is kind of annoying <laughs> But, but, the UI wise, the improvement to the inventory, that I liked. Like here, you can see we did have the same categories. Maybe the books, books and materials are new. But, uh, we did basically have the same categories for different items. But in each one of these categories, we have now uh, items sorted based on look i think this is the armor right right oh this is the all tab okay okay but we have like uh, armors for the body for leg they are separated it helps with the organization of the inventory which honestly is an improvement compared to the previous game okay the next topic is the animations let's be honest the animations are way more fluid and Way more smooth than the previous game. Part of the game. Combat okay. included. Just look Our at the animations here. It's built on true medieval martial arts and wrestling techniques. Fluid, thrilling, and tactical. It's very smooth. It's kind of obvious. Now, combat wise, it's almost identical to the previous game. Like the same style, I think master strikes the whole thing is the same i didn't get a peek at the uh, skill tree to be 100 percent sure but it looks like the system is the same one which is honestly i'm gonna say is fine and the reason why because the game is basically a realistic medieval game 
and the combat is just like this you, i don't know some people like think it's gonna be like a skyrim for direction hit 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 kill or i don't know like souls game or and honestly it's not like that the real combat is like this and i will say combat wise i like this game it's different and honestly it makes sense compared to most of the games combat wise approved okay now let's talk about questing from what i saw it's kind of like the previous game which is honestly is fine because the both previous game and this game are kind of based on old school rpgs which i like maybe you don't like it but i do questing wise i would say basically a uh, copy of the previous game okay now let's go and talk about the prices okay the game will be released in three different editions the first one the basic edition which is the base game and the uh, bonus quest for pre-order and the price is 60 okay 60 for this game I would say it follows the basic pricing of the gaming industry to be fair to be completely honest I will never be able to wrap my head around 60 dollars or euros for a game but right now this is the norm of the industry now gold edition same thing same thing Huntsman, Gallant Huntsman's Kit. Okay. And Expansion Pass. From what I heard, let me check. Yeah. There will be three expansions for this game. And you can buy them by reordering the Gold Edition. I wonder what the expansions are going to be about. In the previous game, we ended up with five expansions. But to be completely frank, I will consider maybe three of them expansion. One of them, one of the ones that I don't consider expansion, was basically a set of armor, the Warhorse uh, armor set. It, uh, the other one was the tourney. It did add the tourney mechanics, which is fun. Don't get me wrong. And added another set of armor but quest wise it didn't add much just a one tiny quest the other three are uh, woman's lot decent quest line i did enjoy it uh, from the ashes which you rebuild a village and become bailiff and rule the village you have to develop the village and govern it which was also fun and my favorite band of bastards where you join a mercenary group and uh, there's a huge quest line which i really liked now i don't know these three expansions are they gonna be like those three or the other two knowing warhorse i'm gonna say it's gonna be decent expansions but uh, i was talking about the price and the gold edition is 80 80 again it's the standard pricing and let's be honest compared to some other game like <clears throat> AC Shadows. Uh, the pricing is really decent for this game. I was hoping for uh, more information. I was really hoping to get a peek at the skills. Because as I said in the previous videos, they planned for a whole lot more uh, skills in that game. But because of some choices and... Uh, 
timing problems they had to uh, release the game without those uh, options and features but i remember they had uh, well they were planning to add crossbow to the previous game they never got to do that um i remember some of the uh, skills i think armor smith weapon smith uh, pull arm there was something else like uh, cobbler fishing tailor all of these were supposed to be a separate skill but well we didn't get those in the previous game i don't know if we're gonna get in this one i sure hope so maybe we find that in the later uh, trailers and i was curious to see if we get more interactions and uh, well, basically gameplay options for our horse pebbles or even mud by the way where was mud and if you like this type of game medieval or old school rpg just go for it you won't regret it and as always if you like this video don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And see you in the next one. Bye.